is down everybody it is your main course little pancake and welcome back to another video today we're doing something very uh, interesting is a word we are going to be figuring out if high school is worth it okay we're going to be calculating to an exact science almost an exact science as close as you could get whether high school is worth it and whether it's a violation of labor laws so here we go we're gonna figure it out so to start things off of course we have the average salary of a high school dropout at about 20 grand high school graduate thirty eight thousand seven hundred ninety two dollars on average now you look at that, you think, wow, that's a pretty big difference. There's no way high school will not be worth it, right? We're going to figure it out. Okay, so the first thing we need to figure out is how much time you spend on school, right? Like, what's the hour length of time spent on at school, right? Working on school. So, of course, you've got, what, seven hour days at school, five days a week. We all know that you don't only work on school seven hours a day. <clears throat> I would say it's more like nine hours for a high school student. You take that, right, 45 hours in a week, okay? A week is five days. 180 divided by five is gonna be 36, so you're gonna spend 36 weeks in school times 45 hours. So that turns out to be 1,620 hours a year Multiply it by four, 6,480 hours in your high school career. Now this is an estimate, of course. Uh, you can't be exact because everyone's different. You know, everyone's gonna have different classes with different homework loads and different times of year and stuff like that. Now, we need to figure out the difference between the amount of money you make as a high school dropout and as a high school student in your life we're gonna say 65 is where you retire per se okay so for a high school graduate we're saying you start at 18 okay you start at 18 till 65 so 65 minus 18 so you're gonna work for 47 years 47 times 38,792 one million eight hundred twenty three thousand two hundred and twenty four dollars lifetime also this might not turn out at all this is like i'm doing these calculations right now i, ha I didn't do them beforehand so that i might be completely wrong in my assumption that it's a violation of labor laws but we'll figure it out so now a high school dropout you're going to be working for from 14 so you're going to 65 65 minus 14 because we're saying you didn't go to high school at all, right? So 14. So you're working for 51 years times 20,241. So you're making you're making substantially less. You're making a million thirty-two thousand two hundred ninety-one dollars in your life. Okay. Yeah, I can already tell this is not going to work out the way I planned. So now let's find the difference. Two two four minus two nine one. So there's a difference of $790,933. To figure out how much of an hourly wage we technically make at high school, we need to divide this by 6,480. And this will be the hourly wage that we make at high school, generally, hypothetically. Well, I'd say high school's worth it then. I, I wasn't expecting that, I'm gonna be honest. So theoretically speaking, and hypothetically speaking, you're making $122 an hour in high school. I find that very interesting, actually. I'm glad I did this. Uh, if you also found it interesting, you know, of course, smash like. Let me know any other ideas of something you'd like me to kind of like dive into like this, you know? kind of like figure out work through mathematically because this was 
This is an idea I thought of like a week ago. With my calculations. School, high school, is worth it. Yeah, don't drop out. <laughs> don't drop out. Don't. It's not worth it, according to statistics and math. You know, that's just me. That's just me. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't drop out of high school. And I will see all y'all later.